aspects of the food. It's our choice. You can all sing along to this. Aspects of the the crew. It's our choice. 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 Yo. Aspects of the crew. It's our choice. Choice. It's easy, isn't it? It's simple, fellas. Aspects of the crew. It's our choice. 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 Talk toys to talk on these aspects you need it. Talk voices with mics with never a choice or read When it comes to swiping circles, we find it in our field We're just perish, we're protecting it, you'll fake already sealed Deep in the sarcophagus, see you can't topple the top to this You think it's ever that the works you're off in this, it poppins in Aspects from the populace, some go on notice that these potters with monoculars Once more and every day they will inhibit the pressure I don't write raps for third rate hacks Who analyze my rhymes so they guess it's black You don't dig for beats so strange and unique So local R.I.P. DJs can say our production is weak I don't write lyrics for basic critics Praise those no limits, but no, I never admit it I don't study Atlantis or the Outlandic You just say I can't speak cause you can't understand it You go from silent walk, hush I ask you, you think same as low as I thought That's why we felt like moving Send your sound to the top Trying to work it while you're gone No problem to speak on We're going to work it While you and me go jerking Those with the cheekers are beef It's curtains So who now you have to say this? I get voice Aspects and teeth The crew is top choice I lay my hair down I shave my ass like a bull One is head on the green So to be being cool Spoons of pork and light In the red face Rebels I should put your hands together With an extra pool you hold it off the explosion for hip hop, this is not just what we were doing, but there's other people, you know, like yourselves, you sort of kind of hang out on different levels, especially with undivided attention, being quite active at that point, and that was a good time, it was like a second wave of hip hop in Bristol, I think, for a lot of people, um, a lot of battles, competitions. Um, so, you know, people getting into hip-hop closer to the original roots of hip-hop back then. Okay. I was birthed first onto this cursed earth. Mega Bubba Louie back in Taunton. Don't taunt him. It's fucking quaint. Yes, it's quite great. The beat fucking stopped. I couldn't give a shit. I spit computer chips from my lips like lyrics. It doesn't really matter. I splatter the data. I move through to kombacha. Like Tekken 2. MCs can't test my voodoo. What do you do? I do judo. You do men of the poo poo hole. It's wrong. I smoke the bong and then I abscond. Disappear and reappear like James Bond in a can of fucking smoke, a can of smoke, a cloud of smoke, I fuck it up, I'm still a deaf bloke, like I can't hear, MCs are queer, I'm stood here with the Cronenberg beer. Up next, check it, check it, check it, check it, check it, check it, ah yes, yes, it's Mantis, bad flex, yes, listen to this. It's that rap guy who fucks MCs up the backside I don't care, I just slide to the rear of the door, I exit I'm hectic, the mantis come to collect this You balance on the decks, yes, I'm getting reckless like a par neck So squirting towards your female's neck it's the mantis, up next to flex, yes, indeedy From the aspects, true from South Bristol Bedrock to be precise, my style sounds nice I slice the words together, always keep it clever I wear a leather apron when I'm reshaping the whole scene I'm raping your butt tops, yes, TikTok says the clock Time out for other MCs cause they don't want Way FSH progress, you know, sort of aspects of gathering their own pace and TCF crew gathering their own pace and um, you know me, my brother, Fona Veins, um, another guy called Marshy, the stepchild of then formed Vertebrate, which is probably like 1998. We're a collective, it's like stepchild, smurf, physical jerks, boys, you know, uh, rogue, means. Fona Veins, Marshy, so yeah, in some sense, some of us have come full circle and kind of, we're not, you know, still kind of sticking to those ethics and what got us into hip-hop in the first place. But using that to move on and then be futuristic, because our sort of interpretation, or especially my interpretation of hip-hop has always been like, retro is cool, but you need to understand the past to go forward and then take it forward. I'm turning fortunes, examining rooms, let's speak of shit in the moves, Accidental meeting with Truck and G. Um, I was DJing at a party, 
and uh, they came over and they were like asking, oh, have you got this record, have you got this record? I met G before and he you know, said he was into hip hop and stuff and this was years before. And then it was like, just started up a conversation, oh yeah, we just, you know, we're making beats, come on round, we're looking for a DJ, do you want to do some scratches for us? Snap on mark with a gold emblem, the time will come, emit radiation like the sun, you say my style is overdone. Initially I was going to go around and put some scratches down and not think much else of it, you know, oh, you know, these guys are going to get me to do a couple of scratches, you know, thanks a lot, see you again sort of thing, and that's the bit of it. Because I just turned up samples and things, I got more into the, oh, I know you can do this. You know, always thinking about just, oh, I'll do this myself one day, make my own beats and stuff like that. And then I just invested in the, uh, the sampler. What's that? Through uh, Jamie Ombre, basically Ombre Records. Uh, Jamie Ombre had the faith in us to buy our first 12 inch, which was uh, uh, a Red EP. Um, that was the first tune we put out. We then we started doing a few other projects uh, for Jamie as well, under the names of uh, Beat Cleaver and uh, also Western Roots. We did um, a few sort of uh, just lots of beat projects. Um, our main focus was, was always Bunk Hub. We put an album out in 2000 called Grand Theft Audio. Which, uh, we're very lucky to have uh, Banksy do the artwork for us on that, which had a massive contribution to that. Um, we had several guests on there, we had uh, Retina, Aspect, uh, we had uh, all the you know, on the cuts and that type of thing, which, you know, brilliant, it all came together and it was, yeah, it was, it was that proper Hombo family. He yeah. actually put in quite a bit. That's right, well, I mean, Jamie was most prolific in that, you know, I mean, mm. he, he was really putting stuff out and really was pumping Bristol at that time. He, he had that sort of faith in Bristol, so I should stop putting that music out. Yeah. It was just, you know, fantastic. I mean, Jamie used to work in Purple Penguin, which, again, was like a... Before Backyard, uh, it was the vocal yeah, player, right, right, everybody. Yeah, totally, yeah. totally. But, yeah, I mean, Purple Penguin was the place that uh, all the DJs and the breakbeat owners went to, yeah. to, to get their ammunition to be actually 